Hi, thanks for staying with us here on D-Living. Now our next segment has a lot of elements to it from cross trainer to sitter or companion. And that's part of the services a dog walker offers your furry friends. So why would this idea be a win-win for you and your canine? Well, our D-Living pet expert, Jermaine Bauer, shares her insight. Let's take a look. A lot of people have dogs, but may not know where to turn as far as pet sitting and dog walking is concerned. Meet Clay Jones. Clay is a furry guy, a furry guy's pet sitting that is, and his dream of owning a pet sitting company became reality in 2010. Clay is a longtime dog lover and he pushes the limit of dedication and hard work not only to keep his clients as friends, but also to provide a real personal experience for you and your fur babies. This is Clay. These are his dogs. Clay walks up to 10 dogs a day, ranging from a three pound Pomeranian to a 110 pound Labrador Retriever. So what's the key to Clay's success? Exercise. Exercise to dogs is essential. Like us humans, dogs must have an outlet for pent up energy and or aggression. And if you can't be there to do that for your own pup, this is when a dog walker comes in handy. Your dog doesn't have to be leash trained, according to Clay. For this furry guy, a challenge is welcomed. Most dogs are highly intelligent and want to please you. And with a little bit of time, love, and patience, your doggy child will be walking peacefully by your side. For D Living, I'm Jermaine Bauer. Okay, that was too cute. <laughs> Those dogs are too cute. And let's talk about dog walking because it's kind of become a popular trend in the past few years. Yeah, it has, Hillary. And you know, the, the one thing that you want to know and when you're looking for a dog walker, that person has to have a love for animals. Mm -hmm. You know, all too often we get people that are just going through the motions and when you're spending, you know, your hard earned money and you're not at home or perhaps you are at home and you just don't have the time, you want to have someone who has the love for animals, Absolutely. period. Well, not only that, but I've heard References are also really important. References are a must, and that's just with anything, especially with your dog walker, because you know people are going to be coming into your home. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have to trust them with the key yes. to your home, with your belongings, with your fur baby. So you know that has to be important. Trust that factor always important. You must check the references. Don't be afraid to call that person and say, hey, I, you know, I hear that you have the furry guy sitter. You know, what is that person like? Right. Ask Just questions. get their opinion. See Absolutely. what they think of it. Well, and so there's some health benefits too, um, and we'll talk about those in a second, but you've worked with a dog walker in particular that you really like. So I tell have. Me I love my Clay Jones of the furry guys. I mean, he is so wonderful. He takes such good care of my little Pomeranian Bella, and he's a part of the family, you know, as mm -hmm. Bella is. She's our fur baby, and that's where the trust factor comes in and I mean did you know that 40 percent of dogs in America are obese Hillary I mean that is an astounding statistic well, and so how does dog walking sort of help with that so the way that it helps is it gives your dog the happiness it gives the dog the exercise that it needs and also it can also help with any aggression or pent up you know, frustration that your dog may have because you're not able to do that. You know, like I, I'm not able to. I'm here all day. Right. So Bella gets that exercise. She gets the walk that she needs. And that interaction. Interaction. She's a healthier, happier, more functional dog for me. And then real quickly, we've got 10 seconds. Licensed and insured are also two things to look Licensed, for. Licensed, bonded, and insured. You don't want anything to happen in case you are walking your dog or your dog walker's walking your dog and your dog happens to bite someone or another dog or vice versa. You want to make sure that your dog walker is insured and covered as well as yourself. Nobody wants to get sued. Nobody. <laughs> that would not be good. No, Wolf. it would. Well, thank you. This is so helpful. Good to know. You're welcome. I Hillary. like it. Thank you. Well, and if you'd like some more details about dog walking services offered by the furry guys, you can call them at 214-931-3333, or you can check out their website, thefurryguys.com. And you can find dog walkers in your area by checking out websites that we have here. 